money to give you. Any money? Something was put inside Jesus' head. I know, Mama. Well, just take the five dollars Daddy promised us. No more than that. What? Five dollars? Oh, Mama, you remember? Ali's voice was sweeter than a melted Mars bar. Daddy said last week we girls were going to have to have something for school. Oh, take it, his mother said angrily, reaching for her cracked vinyl. vinyl press on the shelf above the stove. She counted out five wrinkled bills. Mama, Brenda was starting again. Can't we just... One more, so it'll be three each. No, Mama, you can't buy nothing for two fifty. Just one little pack on notebook. Paper's gone up to no. <coughs> Ali got up noisily and began to clear the table. Your turn to wash, Brenda, she said loudly. Oh, Ali. Ali jabbed her with a spoon. Jessie saw that look. Brenda shut up her half oh, wine halfway out of her rose. Last lipstick mouth. She wasn't as smart as Ellie, but even she knew not to push Mama too far, which left Jess to do the work as usual. Mama never sent the babies out to help, although if he worked it right, he could easily get Mabel to do something. He put his head down on the table. <coughs> the running had done him in the morning. Through his top head came the sound of the... Oh... Buick. Buick. One soil. His dad would say in the happy buzz of voices outside the screen door as Ellie and Brenda squashed in among the seven tumors. All right, Jesse, get your lazy self off the bench. Miss Bessie's bag is probably dragging ground by now. And you still got beans to pick. Lazy, he was the lazy one. He gave his poor dead weight of a head one minute more on the tabletop. Jesse, okay, Mama, I'm going. It was Maybell who came to tell him in the bean patch that people were moving into the old Perkins place down on the next farm. Jess whispered his head. I uh, wiped his hair out of his eyes and squinted. Sure enough, a hall was uh, uh, parked right by the door. One of those big jointed ones. These people had a lot of junk, but they wouldn't last. The Perkins place was one of those ready old country houses you move into because you had no decent place or decent place to go and move out of as quickly as he could. He thought later how Pickens it was that he was probably the biggest thing in his life and he had struck, shrugged it off as nothing. The flies were buzzing around his sweating face and shoulders he dropped the beans into the bucket and swatted with both hands. Get me my shirt, Maybell. The flies were more important than any you haul. Maybell jogged to the end of the road and picked up his t shirt from where he uh, where it had been discarded earlier. She walked back holding it with two fingers way out in front of her. 
Oh, it stinks, she said, just as Ben the one had. Shut up, he said, and grabbed the t-shirt away from her.